In this video, I will show you how to install official Windows 11 ARM64 Desktop Edition on Apple Silicon Macs including M1, M2, M3, and M4 using UTM with GPU acceleration. With UTM, you can easily run Windows 11 inside a virtual machine on any Apple Silicon Mac. For demonstration purposes, I used a MacBook Air with M1 chip in this video. The procedure is the same for any Mac. To install Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Mac, you must reserve a free space of at least 60 GB or more. Then open your web browser and navigate to this link. Now scroll down a bit and click the button to download the Windows 11 ARM64 ISO file. Next, visit the second link to download the UTM application. And finally, download the Spice Guest Tools. Once all the downloads are complete, Place the files to easily accessible location on your Mac for convenience. Then go ahead, double click the UTM DMG file and drag the UTM icon to your applications folder. Then open UTM application from the app menu or launchpad. This is the main user interface of the UTM application. Now, as you can see, we are running the latest version. Now, let's start creating a new virtual machine for Windows 11. To start off, click on the plus button. Under the start menu, you will see two options, virtualize and emulate. Since Apple Silicon is ARM-based, choose virtualize to simulate near bare metal performance. Then select Windows. Make sure to take this option. Then click Browse and import the Windows 11 ARM64 ISO file. Now uncheck this option to install the drivers automatically. We will manually install the Spice Guest tools later. Now for the hardware configuration, allocate at least 4 GB of RAM and 4 CPU cores or keep the default settings. If your Mac has more resources, allocating more RAM and CPU cores will improve the performance. Next, assign storage space to the virtual machine. A minimum of 64 GB is recommended. Next, skip the directory option and click continue. Finally, name your virtual machine and click save. And that's it, we have done creating a virtual machine with Windows 11. On the right side, you will see the VM details and settings. Then select your Windows 11 virtual machine and click the settings gear icon in the top right corner. Here, you can adjust the hardware configurations. For most settings, you can stick with the default, except for display. The default display card support GPU emulation, but it may not work correctly and could cause many issues. To avoid this, switch the display option to Word IO RAM FB and enable the setting that allows the display to resize automatically based on the window size. Now once done, save the changes. Now it's time to start the virtual machine. Just go ahead and click on this play button. Then click inside the VM window and when prompted with a message like press any key to boot, Press the return key to start the Windows setup. Now keep in mind, clicking inside the VM will capture your cursor. To release it, press Ctrl plus Option. 
you will now see the Windows 11 setup screen. Now follow the on-screen instructions to install Windows 11. If you have a product key, you can enter it to activate Windows 11. After installation, the virtual machine will reboot. When prompted again to boot from the CD or DVD, do not press any key, just let it continue. Now return to the UTM interface, select your Windows 11 VM, click CD or DVD icon, and choose Clear to unmount Windows 11 ISO file. Your VM should now boot into Windows 11 welcome screen. Now go ahead and choose your country and keyboard layout. After that, you will be asked to connect to the internet. We will bypass the requirement for a Microsoft account. Hold function plus shift and press F10 to open a command prompt. If it doesn't appear, press Alt plus Tab to switch to it, then type this command and press Enter. This allows you to skip the online account setup and create a local user account instead. Now follow the steps to create the account and press Return. Then configure privacy settings and finish setup. And voila, you have successfully installed Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Mac using UTM. If you notice the internet doesn't work or the screen resolution seems weird, let's go ahead and fix that. Now go back to the UTM main interface. Select your Windows 11 VM. Click the CD or DVD icon. Choose Browse and select the Spice Guest Tools ISO file. In a few seconds, the ISO will be mounted inside Windows 11 VM. Now open the mounted volume and run the installer. After installation, reboot the virtual machine. Now you should have a working internet connection and the screen should automatically adjust to the window size. If UI elements still appear blurry or unclear, enable the GPU acceleration with Retina mode. To do so, shut down the VM. Then go to the VM settings, choose Display, and change the emulated graphics card to the one that supports GPU acceleration. Also, enable Retina mode. Then save your changes and start the VM. If switching the display card causes error, just restart the VM. It should work fine.
Once booted, open Settings, System, Display in Windows, and set the scale value to 200% for best clarity. Now the UI elements and the text should be crisp and clear. Now when it comes to performance, UTM has improved a lot and you should have no issues running Windows 11 inside a VM, but thanks to the GPU acceleration, animations are very smooth, applications open quickly, and performance feels very close to native. Now for tasks like browsing, document editing, coding, and web development, UTM provides an excellent experience even for average users. Now keep in mind, you can always use the default emulated display card and disable retina mode if you experience any issues with GPU acceleration. This option is more stable and works very well in most cases. As a bonus part of the video, in case you dislike Windows 11 and decide to remove it, first turn off the VM, then using the UTM main user interface, right click on the VM and choose delete. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can install Windows 11 on Apple Silicon Macs using UTM with GPU acceleration for free. Let me know what do you think about it. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.